you've been in the gaming PC seat, you are at Microsoft, uh, where they've got Xbox, which I was just mentioning. Um, what's your take on at least the framing I'm attempting here? The question is whether Roblox is a platform or just a really successful game with an economy inside it. Well, I, I think your your um, your assessment is probably more correct. Um, you know that it is more of a game that's trying to be a platform. You know the, the the thing about Roblox is it caters to a much younger demographic. So you know un, unless like if you think about the the pandemic, kids weren't in school. Uh, you know they were able to sort of spend money on games. They parents wanted kids out of their hair, so they had a massive spike during the pandemic, and you know lots of little games were being played and built on Roblox, but uh, but, you know, unless they completely expand their demographics somehow, like I don't see five, six year olds or even 10 year olds buying Gucci. Um, you know, it's cool as a story, uh, but uh, they have to expand their demographic or make uh, new acquisitions in the space to really think about down the road. How do they how do they turn this into new mixed reality experiences? And there, there is some, potentially a future there. There are some signs that they could be doing that in the sense that they're uh, I forget whether it was median or average age of a user. Uh, did move up uh, above. They have more users over 13 years old, but their user base isn't growing that much. So you don't know if that's younger people leaving or older, older people coming in more. But what's also interesting about this space to me is you take Roblox's market cap, it's almost, you put App Lovin and Unity together, it, it's just a little bit smaller than those two together. But they are doing tools. They are doing, working on platforms that are seeking to, to sort of engage this whole ecosystem of potentially metaverse and mobile uh, gamers. Should, do you think Unity should combine with App Lovin or, or is Iron Source a better bet for them? I personally, I think Iron Source is a better bet for them. I, I think, uh, I mean, I, I didn't realize that App Lovin had, you know, 17 billion to, to, to acquire Unity, but I guess they don't because they want to do an all stock transaction. So I, I really don't know how real that looks. Um, I think they should do a deal with uh, with Iron Source. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you're absolutely right. Unity is building tools. Uh, there, you know, there's two choices in in engines for for game developers. It's Unity or or Unreal. And uh, and Unity has a great 3D engine. We're building on Unity. Um, we think that um, you know they have they they are enabling sort of the, the the future of this space in a way that, um, you know, other companies can't. So, yeah, so I, I, I feel Unity should just finish the deal with Iron Source and get it done. Hmm. Rahul, um, this whole idea, though, traditionally that gaming is more recession-proof or at least recession-resistant, that's kind of being turned on its head over the last few weeks from the results that we got across chip makers to gaming consoles to video game publishers. Um, what do you make of that? Has that argument changed because we see more free-to-play, more mobile games in this ecosystem? No, look, I, I think it's just temporary to, to, to be quite frank. Like it's it's like everything is down. Basically, the markets are generally down. And uh, I think a lot of companies are kind of cutting uh, costs ahead of the consumer uh, because of this, you know, because of inflation and because of the way the markets are. Um, but uh, but, you know, to, to us, the future of entertainment is these mixed reality gaming experiences. I think gaming is going to be our gaming and entertainment is kind of like the, the place where everything will converge, where um, players will have ownership in the game, players will have emotional connections to the characters that they own and play. Um, artificial intelligence is going to play a huge role in the space. Um, and I think the, the key to unlocking this metaverse, I, I know metaverse has thrown out quite a bit, uh, but, but we really fundamentally believe in it. And the key to unlocking it is to make it an all-day effortless experience. Like VR is cool, but it's very short term. It's fun for like an hour at the most, and then you get mm -hmm. kind of a headache. Uh, but I, I think these mixed reality experiences with glass um, is is huge. I think you know Meta's vision for where it could go is great. It might be too far down the road, but this is exactly where things need to converge: is in these mixed reality experiences.